was bliss. That felt like I was in heaven. Oh, man. Oh. You cried a bit. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that was fucking class. <laughs> 12 minutes later, and Sarah is still talking about meatloaf. <laughs> but do you know what I love? Which actually... Hmm, is when he's on stage and he's sweating loads and he's like, he gets his tissue out and he's like, wiping it off. Oh, he's just... Mm, he's peach. Actually, he's more than that. He's fucking awesome. Is he single? He's married? He will be when I meet him. <laughs> he's married. <laughs> I'd probably stalk him. He'd be like saying to people, "Get who the fuck is that scared off?" I'd be what would like, you do if the fans. Queen and Meatloaf? I would never, ever, ever like. We're a task, and you had to choose one to have dinner with. Oh, the Queen. Oh. <gasps> but I would oh. never, I would never, ever make the, the Queen feel uncomfortable. If I met her, I'd keep all my excitement in. I would never, ever be like ah or anything like that. I would just keep my excitement in and be like, "Hello." Nice to meet you. Very beautiful. I love you. I would never be like, oh my god. I would never watch. I bet you'd cry. You'd cry. Oh, I'd, if I met the Queen, yeah. yeah, of course I would. But I'd, I'd, like, if I met Meatloaf, I'd be like screaming and jumping and attacking him with my cuddly hands. But if I met the Queen, I would be very, very calm, very like, hello, bow to her, and and then yeah, tears might shed, and, and then I'd yeah, I might try and kiss her. Can I see what cuddly hands look like? Cuddly hands are just like, um, like, if I'd met the Queen, they'd be, they'd be po polite hands. Right. And then cuddly hands would be like, like this, like if you're a meatloaf, I'd be like, ah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey. That's, cuddly hands. Yes. Cuddly that's what you do if you met meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey. Okay. <laughs> 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 11 59 p.m. In the last two hours, cocktails have flowed. So last Saturday night! Housemates have thrown some serious ships and got on like a house on fire. You're a mummy. You just got mummified. Yes, come on. Mummified, yo. Tenen, come on. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> As the party oh, comes to an end, Luke here yeah, and right. Adam are feeling reflective. Adam, this yeah. is our last second on this Saturday in this house. <laughs> Sunday, fun day. Adam, Dina, Luke, Lucas. Sarah, your time has come. The winner of Big Brother 2012 is... Caroline? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was in the secret house the whole time. <laughs> Guys want to be me, girls want to be with me. <laughs> Oh, they must love it. <laughs> oh my god. Lukey Poo. Lucas is a whole new realm. Yep. Because <laughs> girls want to be with him. Guys want to be him. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a cheesy bastard all the time. Mm. Twelve twenty a.m. The final five have come to share their thoughts on reaching the final with Big Brother. Being in the final is the most amazing thing ever. Like, I'm on top of the world. I'm over the moon. It's the best feeling I could have right now. It, it's just, it's mind-blowing, it's just great. It's something that I used to dream of and now your dreams do come true. I guess when I started the process, my aim was to get into the house, and when I got into the house, I guess my aim was to get to the final. So, I'm very excited. And it's not really hit me yet, I don't think it will hit me till, till Monday night. 
I'm so glad that I came here and had this once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm so grateful to have been chosen to be put in the house. Um, it's just been an amazing experience that I'll treasure for the rest of my life. I'm still in shock and I don't think it's hit home yet that I'm actually in the final, but it's just fantastic to be in this position right now. It's amazing. So much. Chris getting pied was one of the funniest moments in the house for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's gonna hurt so bad. I'm on the sofa. What's been your favourite task? Pied task. Pied task, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Gage, 31 years old, and they had a food fight. <laughs> what are they doing? That's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. One of the tasks that I did enjoy was turf wars. <laughs> I hated turf wars, right? But seeing Adam and Becky in, in their little boat was hilarious. If there is a hell, this is what hell must be like. <laughs> Their friendship with Luke A is, um, you know, it just started off with like, he smokes cigarettes, he's cool to kick it with, he's chill, doesn't seem too judgmental, it's not a, didn't seem really superficial. And then um, he shed a little light about his past, and so it just gave him that much more depth. I was literally born female and uh, had gender reassignment. Well, I got you, yeah. I get it, yeah. I think it would have been a whole lot tougher in the house without him. As soon as he came down the stairs, he had this like aura about him, and he was just so easy going and easy to talk to. Luke, how you doing, what's up, man? I just connected with him straight away. He just made me laugh all the time, and I want to be around people that make me happy, and he was one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Hold me. Hold me. I'd be gutted if I ever lost contact with her. Oh. Sarah's a nice, sweet girl. She's got a really good heart. And she's also been there for me in times when I've been upset and needed her. Yes, yeah, Scott. I just loved him. He was very, very, very kind. And he was very funny. I think that in the outside world, we'll be, we'll be really, really good friends. Scott, look, look, look. Leave me alone. I mean, ultimately, Ashley was my closest and best friend in the house. Uh, and I've loved the fact that we've spent the duration, I guess, effectively together. It's Larry and Ash. Nash. I like that. Do you like it? Adam's kept me strong through a lot of situations, and sometimes when I'm getting stressed and worrying about silly things, Adam will, will always put me straight. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then there's a good old line. Oh, my God. Almost erect. Just chuck that up to the... Emotions running high in the Big Brother house for summer love. And she's a gorgeous girl, so. You know, Connor was a friend, and it. You know, and you can argue, argue what happened. But in the house, and before that all happened, you know, I classed him as a friend. You wanted to go to the final. Just for me and the missus, man. Lying bastard. It's been a rocky road with Lucas in his house. I just don't think he likes me. Men want to be me. Women want to be with me. <laughs> thank you, Luke, thank, for thank being you, my nemesis. I've always felt like he's looking down his nose at me. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, man. Yeah. Sorry. Barbell media. But there's loads of stuff that irritates me. It might not be the last on the outside world, so... It's got me in a lot of trouble with my girlfriend, and I've got a lot of making up to do. But after all, we all know it's been a bitchy series. Fucking hit the Big brother, get famous. <laughs> she respects me like she respects her BMI. Oh, gosh. You're nothing but nasty. I see the hate. I see the disgust. I see the anger. What the fuck are you talking about? Sorry about the curry. You just snap. Opie falls down the fucking stairs. Caroline's fucking chocolate in this bitch. Oh, oh my God. Chocolate spread times 50. Ah! I'm the one that's being tricked. Why are you crying? What do you mean being tricked? I don't like it! She's sneaky butter. Stop saying horrible comments to me. 
I just want to go home. There were a lot of times where I was considering leaving the house, but I'm proud of myself because I got through it and I stayed and now I'm here in the final. Um, I would love to win. Fuck like, throw that one out the way. I'm just absolutely ecstatic that I even got to the final, because I didn't think that I'd even get past the fifth week. You've, you've actually lived the full story of Big Brother day one, you know, and, you, and you're the last out of the house, you know, you're locking the doors behind you. I don't think I'm going to win, but if I did... So I can't even put it into words how amazing it will be. Up there with marrying my wife, it'd be like, whew, you know what I mean? Well, ooh. You know, if you put it in perspective of like how many hundred thousands of people voted in to think that you deserve something like this. Big Brother has just been absolutely fan dabby dozy. And I don't think anything I'll do in life will ever compare to this. Tomorrow night, one housemate will be crowned the champion of Big Brother. Who wins, you decide. From a landline, call 0901 61617 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 65058 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Adam, add or two. For Dina, add or eight. For Luke, ear, add ten. For Luke S, add 12. For Sarah, add 13. Calls cost no more than 36p from BT landlines or any mobile. Calls from other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Monday's final. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Up next, Cradle to the Grave. I'll turn over to Five Star now for Bit on the Side, where Alice is joined by Paul Ross, Ashley and Scott.